financial crisis, the garden variety depression that I think ended in the beginning of March, the recession that we're still experiencing. This whole mess started with housing. And when we finally get some stabilization in the housing market, I think things can really start to get much better. But first, uh, that market has to bottom. Last year, I predicted that housing would bottom by June 30th of this year. It's only 70 days from now. And while that call was mocked endlessly by pretty much everything else, I was mocked endlessly, it's now looking more plausible. The home builders have scaled back operations to the point where we're now building the same amount of homes as we had in this country with 100 million fewer people. That means less inventory. Housing starts down 48 percent. Housing permits down 45 percent. Areas where prices have fallen 40 percent, they're seeing a bottom. Homes are being bought. I think the June 30th housing bottom is spot on. I want to talk to a real expert. I'm talking about Bob Toll, the chairman, CEO, and co-founders of the Toll Brothers, the leading luxury home builder in America. The last time I talked to Toll on December 4th, I asked him what he thought about the bottom in housing. And he said, I, I hope housing is bottomed. If it ain't, we're not too far away because you only can go down so far. I think we're much closer than we were. Toll Brothers, they've worked off inventory, 91,000 lots, Q2 of 2006, now only 37,000. Is Toll Brothers the way to play a possible turn, particularly with the federal tax credit? And forget that a housing bottom is much, much bigger than just the home builders, because housing's the linchpin of the whole crisis. I don't want to take it from me, though. Let's hear from Bob Toll, CEO, chairman, and founder of Horsham-based Toll Brothers, who actually builds Mr. Toll, welcome back to Mad Money, and welcome back to the Ohio State University. <laughs> nice to be here. All right, Bob, I got to put it to you. Uh, is the train still coming at us? Is the light, any chance that the light at the end of the tunnel is actually the beginning of something good to say about housing? I don't want to. I don't want to overstate it, but I told you I'd give you a call when I saw things differently, and I definitely see them as different now. In the last five weeks, one of those weeks was uh, Passover, Easter, and Good Friday. So, excluding that week, in the past five weeks, we have exceeded the deposits. These are the not contracts. These are the interest of. Uh, uh, the, the expressions of interest to buy a home, $1,000 refundable deposits. So in the last uh, five weeks, we've seen those better than we saw in the last year. Now, last year stunk, but then again, it sure feels good to be doing better rather than worse. Pretty much nationwide, except for a couple of markets that are still deader than doornails and probably will be for another year or two. But I'd say about 80 percent of the country seems to be on the way back. That's unbelievable. I mean, I got to honestly, that's unbelievable versus what we've been talking about. Uh, why do I read pieces like today's uh, Stiefel Nicholas report saying Toll Brothers lower to sell? The whole thing is just about euphoria. It's about to go back down again. Ten reasons why your stock should be dramatically lower, given the fact that you just told me that things are looking up. Why should why should the analysts and the media stay so negative about housing? Well, they're probably dealing with reports that are a couple of weeks old, and those reports reflect expressions of interest that are a month before that, because first you go and you visit, then, then you put down a deposit expressing interest, then you get an agreement of sale, and you and your lawyer debate their lawyer. Right. Finally, you sign up, then it gets recorded in permits. There's a significant lag time that could be the reason, or maybe they're just not doing the job. But you've got a big sale on. You're telling me this is a nationwide sale. I mean, is this the type of thing where uh, had you done it a year ago, it wouldn't even matter? I think that's right. Uh, the, the big sale that we've got on now has replaced the Kitchen and Bath Expo that we had a couple of weeks ago, had uh, replaced the special option VIP sale that we had a couple of weeks before that. And so on and so forth. We've been running specials now for about three years. Right. Well, Bob, one of the things I talked to your assistant a couple of months ago, I was trying to get your old grading system. You used to grade different areas. I'm at school, so I'm really conscious of grading. And then you stopped. You stopped because everything was an F. There wasn't any area in this country That's that exactly was passing. Right. Has that changed? I called it. I call. I called it the F report, and it got silly to be to be grading F double F. Triple F. So I said we went out of the business, and for the time being, I'm glad I'm out of the business. 
I'll get back into it where I really can start to report A's, B's, and C's. But you don't, but you're not as willing I said to give the me this, the you're not willing to give me a midterm grade that is a little bit higher than an F right now on this show so I can be able to proclaim the housing bottom? Not just yet. I think we've got, I think we've got to wait a little while longer. But it sure feels good to be above where we were last year for the first time in these initial interest deposits. Bob Tolm, I thank you for coming on our show. The first time that you have said something positive since the peak in housing. Thank you very much.